Hello, welcome to Liquid Lunch, coming at you live. It's uh, January 13th, 2011. It's me, Hugh Riley, and Marla is here with me because it's Thursday today. Right, can you, Marla? Can you say my last name? Yeah. I, it looked like you avoided it for a second there. No. What is it? Lukowski. No help from the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. And your name is Roly, really, Riley. Eh, one of those ethnic names. It, it, so doesn't how it are sound you? ethnic? That's very, it's very ethnic. Isn't it? Do you know that Fitzgerald is a longer name than Lukowski? Even though, but when people hear the ski and the three syllables, they freak out. Because it's so foreign sounding. It's a foreign sounding name, so people don't like it. Yeah. Anyways, I heard the most interesting thing on television the other day. It was about oysters. Really? Do, do you like oysters? Um, I don't usually order oysters. Do you I'm eat not raw a big oysters? Fan. No. That's really yucky. That is yucky, yeah. 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 I mean, it's supposed to be an aphrodisiac, too, you know. Really? But I think yeah, that's I the think so. association with the consistency thing. Yeah, but anyways, probably, you're probably right about that. Apparently, there's a lot of zinc in it, and zinc's good for... Zinc is really good. I got a zinc story for you. I'm sure you do. You want to hear it? Yes. Okay. So, I used to work at Stelco. In, oh, yes. This is in Welland, okay? Yes, yes. Uh, and they made pipe there. Big steel pipe factory. Anyway, they had a galvanized apartment where they galvanized some of the pipes that they made. Galvanized, of course, is zinc, right? A zinc coating they apply to oh, I didn't know that. steel, okay. right? Okay. Yeah, like galvanized anything. It's yeah, just I didn't zinc know that. That just means it's coated with zinc? Zinc coated steel. Yeah. If I got galvanized, I would just be dipped in zinc? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. So, although they use an electrolytic process, I believe. Oh, well. They don't just dip it. Okay. Okay. Anyways, the thing was, all the guys that worked in the galvanized, and usually they worked there for like their entire life, so they're in, in their galvanized apartment for like 20, 30 years, whatever. Those, it was common knowledge in the plant that the guys that worked in the galvanized apartment lived really long, they never got sick, and they're always really healthy. Oh, my God. Because of the zinc. Oh, my Isn't God. Isn't that weird? I want to order some zinc tablets You need right some zinc now. right now. Wow. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go home and get some supplements right away. All right. Well, what I discovered about oysters yeah. is they can change their gender. Can you believe that? Can you imagine if you could do that? Just like human beings. Yeah. Well, kind of. By the way, we're... Uh, by themselves, without a surgeon. I've got to tell you something else. I'm not finished. Well, I'm, I'm just going along right, with you here. All right. You're the boss. I'm just saying, at the Stelco where I worked too, there were also some of the workers who were by were changing their, zen, their gender. Yeah, and it well, wasn't because of the zinc. Well, that's because if you're stuck in a factory with you know people aren't going to harass they you. They had as to much. build separate washrooms for these people. Well, naturally, you know, there's the X, the Y, and the XXY. Of course, exactly. you have to accommodate. Okay, well, Atlantic Coast oysters yeah. do not change their sexes. They stay. They're either male or they're female. That's interesting. But. That's because, you know, California's on the West Coast. Yeah. Well, you know, the European oyster and the native Pacific Coast oyster do change exactly. from male to female and back again. Yep. And they seem to do this switch every five years or so. I've got to tell you a funny story. Speaking of changing funny gender. Funny that? Do you remember the Christine Jorgensen story? Yes. Do you remember that? Of course. Is she still alive? So anyway, I'm f when did that movie come out? I think I was like five years old. I know. Okay. So my parents took me and my sister to the drive-in. You know, drive-in theater. Yes, remember I the drive remember ins? them. Remember I'm those? not from the caveman days. So I'm five days. years old. Yeah. My sister's four. We're in her pajamas. We're at the drive-in. They took us to see Fiddler on the Roof. A wonderful movie. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't like it at six. It just seemed long and boring to oh, me. Oh, it was above you. Yeah. Um, but... During the uh, breaks, they showed a trailer for the Christine Jorgensen story. That's I'm six amazing. years old, right? <laughs> and I'm going, what? Mom, Dad, can we come back? And that movie looks interesting. Can we? It's, I can't believe the subject matter. Is that really what I think it is? <laughs> Bring the extra popcorn. <laughs> I'm going to be watching this one. That's great. But they never did. And I still have not seen the Christine Jorgensen story. Well, try to go to Queen Video or Video Flicks and yeah. have them order it if they don't have it already. Or okay. maybe just have a, a party and we can all watch it. All right. All right. Um, I read this uh, small little um, news item. This man got shot in his head in Italy. And uh, uh, when he blew his nose, uh, the bullet came out. 
wouldn't be the first time I've heard that story before. I have never heard that, and he's a lucky guy. Boy, okay. <sighs> Auto eroticism. Uh oh. All right, we'll discuss that. Of course, people are busy. Do you know that animals actually have hymens? All of them, or just not the all of them? Not all of them. Lemurs, guinea pigs, mole rats, hyenas, horses, llamas. Well, you'd think the hyena would have And one. whales. They were named after it. Well, you would think so. Or maybe that's why they're laughing all the time. Now, what about the three-toed sloth? Uh, that didn't come up uh, mm. in my research, and that's the problem. All I'm doing is researching things. I've got, you know, you love quizzes, because I love to stimulate your brain, because you're so intelligent. What's the difference between a sheep and a lamb? <sighs> a sheep and a lamb. A lamb is young, is a young sheep. You're correct. You're correct. Mary had a little one. And what is the name of a baby goat? A ewe. You may be right in some ways, but it's usually called a kid. Oh. Hence the name. And what is the name of a baby sheep? A ewe. That was a trick question. It's a lamb. Oh. But other people... <laughs> you're confusing me, Marla. No, you're just not listening. <laughs> Uh, but, of course, uh, some people call a baby sheep Harold, but that's because they want to name whatever they want to name. Okay. Cats. Yes. Some people in the room like cats. I do not. Daniel? Cats? The cats purr 26 cycles per second. Yes. That's the same as uh, an idling engine in a car. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I just don't find that some, appealing I, in a I species. I bet all engines are different. Depends on the engine. The Manufacture how if it's tuned up, and it depends on the cat. If they're like 26 years old and not feeling very well, they're probably going. <laughs> okay, all porcupines float. Mm -hmm. Well, I found that you know very why? interesting. Because the quills are hollow. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that surrounds. And how many quills are in a porcupine approximately? I don't know. We'll find that out. Okay, albatrosses drink seawater. Really? Because they have a special filter that can filter out the salt. That's really interesting. Otherwise, they would die. What flavor are they, though? I don't know. Do you know that the United States has never lost a war while they used mules? Are you sure? Because when they went to get Pancho Villa, I think they... I don't know if they used mules then, but uh, Pancho Villa made, uh, made them look foolish. Oh. I don't From know, but understand. maybe uh, maybe that's why they had problems in Vietnam. No and, mules. Uh, yeah, no mules. Well, maybe unless you count the drug mules. Okay. Do you know that it's physically impossible for pigs to look straight up? Uh, no, I didn't know that. Now I haven't verified this, but I'm going to look into it more. But the, that was interesting, and we talked about pigs last week. I can't remember. Oh, you will if I I'll mention it. Oh, let's not. But um, hey. yeah. Do you ever go to the X and you, you go? Do you ever go in to every the year. and look at the pigs? Every at year. The, uh, in the, I think they're usually in the, the Royal Winter Fair building. I don't know if I went to the, the Royal, Royal Winter, Winter Fair. Fair where they have the no, little piglets and, and they're separated from the mother. I didn't know how big these pigs were. These pigs are like they weigh two thousand pounds. Yeah, they're huge. I didn't realize they were that big of animal. Yeah, and do you know that they cry and they scream? And their DNA is very close to human DNA. Yeah, so they do experiments with pigs. And they use pig skin and pig hearts and things like that. I don't know what a person who's kosher might do, but, you know, if it depends on their life. I, I really know. like pigs, actually. And, and they're very intelligent, I understand. Yeah, well, I yeah. mean, they do all sorts of things that I can't mention but on the show. But they eat everything. They will eat anything. That's the one thing that... Only uh, if you give it to that's them. That's why when... Well, you know what? what? I'll eat anything, too, if you give it to me. Now, remember when Dorothy fell That's into the... That's why people uh, call me a pig, I guess. Remember when Dorothy fell into the uh, Yes, yes, and they sty? started to eat they her They had ankles. to get her out because That's she right. could have been killed. That's because right. Because they would have just eaten her. But maybe if they give pigs enough food, they wouldn't be eating everything. Yeah. I don't know. But you know that, like, you know, you can raise sheep and you don't have to kill them. You can use them for their wool or yeah. you can use them for their milk and stuff. There's nothing you can do with a pig. Except kill them. Why well, can't? Well, yeah, they don't, don't give milk. About, they don't. No. Well, they're mammals, aren't they? Well, okay. We can move on. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. What is the first product to have a barcode? Um, Mars bars. Well, I actually gave this to you earlier in the year. 
Yeah, but I don't remember it. It's okay. Nobody remembers anything anymore, darling. Okay, Wrigley's gum. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. And uh, fingerprints of koala bears yeah. are indistinguishable from humans. Interesting. So it would be really dangerous if a koala bear was at a crime scene because they wouldn't be able to figure out who was the murderer. And the other thing, they're all the same. So, like, if it's a koala bear, it's all the koala bears. Yeah, so they have to, like, arrest everybody and then just do it through interrogation. Yeah. Really? Where were you at 2 p.m. in the afternoon? We don't have to worry about that here in Canada, but it's a big problem in Australia. It's a big problem in Australia. That's true. Do you know that asparagus and rhubarb are the only two vegetables that can live to produce their own season after season? You mean they're... They don't have to be replanted. That's a good thing. I think that's really interesting. I mean, we could survive and survive and survive. And unfortunately, I don't like asparagus. Do you ever notice that when you eat asparagus, your urine smells really odd? I don't care about that. I like asparagus. You don't care about the side effects? No. Oh, okay. What Um, if it made your eyesight perfect? Hey, did you ever do gardening? Did you ever, you know, have a veg? Hated gardening. Hated worms. I love gardening. Okay. I don't get a chance to do it now, but... What I found interesting was um, green, uh, green onions, Yeah. right? You plant them, or carrots too. Yeah. You plant them, and then they'll stay in the ground over the winter, and they'll get bigger. Like if you pick them the next year, the, oni- the green onions are way bigger. The carrots are way bigger. You know, you can let so you them stay in the ground there? all winter. They're fine. Yeah, and then the next year they grow more. Well, that is interesting. Mm-hmm. Do you want onions that big, scallions that big? Well, they don't get that. They're just too small. If you don't let them yeah. go over the winter. Yeah. Of course, my, I had bad soil, but... Oh, well. It's important. Do you know the strawberries are the only fruit that has their seeds on the outside? That's He's in, thinking. It's interesting. Yeah. It's really interesting. Oh, so... And lettuce is the only vegetable uh, that is never sold frozen, canned, or cooked. It's always sold fresh. What? Lettuce? Lettuce. <laughs> because it's just leaves. Yes, but it's what really are you interesting. Do with leaves. No, but uh, hey, so what? So there's corn, but you can have that frozen. You can you can't freeze lettuce. Well, you got. It's better to eat all your vegetables fresh and raw. Anyways. They got the living lettuce now. It's still alive. You know, oh, it's great. All, so it's you're got cutting the, into it and it's screaming. It's got the life energy I, in it. I'm surprised that like vegetarians would eat living lettuce. Did you ever 